I came to you with this inspiring message that God may be having you in a holding place right now because he's preparing you for something that is unexpected, something that you may have been praying for for a long time. God may be preparing you for something that you may not be able to handle right now. Your current situation, you want it to be better, right? We all want our situations to be better, whether that's relationships, whether that's money, financials, whether that's, you know, our own personal needs, our own personal gains, and just even maybe our mental and spiritual gains. But God's going to have you, he probably has you in a current holding place right now because he's trying to strengthen you. He's trying to test you. He's trying to test your faith. He's trying to find out where you are because he knows where you're trying to get to already. I know a lot of times we are in situations and we feel like we're ready for the next step in our life. We're ready to move on. We're ready for whatever's next. We're ready for something that maybe we should have had a long time ago. But there's a reason why you're still in the situation you're in. When Joseph, you know what I'm saying? When Joseph was sold by his brothers, think of, the, think of it as this. It was almost a holding place for him because though Joseph was seen to God as a Christian, good Christian man, somebody that was made in God's image, right? Though he may have seen that in him, Joseph may not have been clearly ready because God put him through some things like being sold, being hated on by his brothers. God put him through that to test him, to get him ready for what God ultimately had for him. The coat of many colors he was blessed with. It was preparing him for something even greater. Think about somebody like David, a shepherd boy who was, if not one of the lowest in the pack, right? And nobody expected him to, to, to fight Goliath. This little shepherd boy was gonna beat Goliath? Are you serious? The people around him, you think they had any type of confidence in him? Do you think he was prepared in that moment to, to beat Goliath? We're talking about a physical one-on-one -on -one match. We're talking about Goliath, somebody that was over eight plus 10, 10 feet tall. Do you think David was gonna have the power to handle that all by himself without any type of preparation, without any type of help? I'm here to let you know, look, David, David fought Goliath, right? He had a, what they say in the Bible, it says a slingshot. How many stones? I believe it was two stones, right? It was either two or three stones. And guess what? He beat Goliath. Goliath, who had a, who had a sword, who had armor, who was tall, who was gigantic. Come on now. Come on now. God was preparing him that whole time while he was in the tending to sheep. While he was one of the, if not the youngest brother, preparing him for what was to come, for whatever he had that was next. God had him in a holding place. Like, look, David, you're going to do some amazing things. You don't know what you're going to do, though. You don't know. I know. But I, right now, I'm preparing you. I'm letting you know that God is most likely having you where you are right now because he is preparing you for something. He is, he is holding you back quote unquote, because he doesn't think you're ready for something. You know, sometimes when we when we try to say, oh man, maybe we should go here today. Oh, maybe we should go here today. Oh, I know why this didn't happen because da, 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 da. God may have been trying to protect you from something. God may have been trying to hold you back from something because there's something else that you should be doing, something greater, something better, something more fulfilling. I'm telling y'all, God is having you where you are because he's preparing you for this. This is your moment. But I want to let you know that if you feel like that God is holding you back, he may be holding you back because he is preparing you. He wants you to be armed and ready to go. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Comment down below what y'all learned. Subscribe, like up the video, share this video with whoever needs it. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that feel like, you know, they're stuck. But God is, God is preparing you. You got something special for you. But as always, God bless.